If your puzzle rush score is less than 40, well we're about to change that by the end of the video, even if you are a beginner at solving puzzles. Puzzles are the best way to improve your chess, so try to solve the puzzles with me and I will explain a step-by-step -step solution, so by the end of this video you will have so many new patterns memorized that you will just be crushing it in puzzles and in games in general. So let's just jump into it boys. Okay, we just lost our queen. Is that that bad? No, because the opponent doesn't have a queen as well. Well, we have a free rook here to capture, so we will just simply take the rook. The first 10 puzzles are usually going to be checkmates in one or free pieces that you can capture. We have a queen and a rook on the same file. So when they go all the way down, we take the rook with check, the queen captures, and then we take the queen as well. Here we will just be up material and it's really good. And it's also almost checkmate. <laughs> the king is very weak. If it wasn't for this bishop, it would be mate. So we just take the rook. We take the queen and that is the end of the puzzle. Okay, another back rank checkmate, but you might say, well, there's no pawns in front of the king. How is this a checkmate? Well, there is one pawn in front of the king, but the other two squares are covered by our knight. After we go rook to h8, it's simply checkmate. So bang, there we go. We already solved three puzzles, boys. And the fourth one is even easier. This is probably the easiest one we got. Just simply rook e8 and it's simply checkmate in one. Bang. Okay, here again, we have a checkmate. But we have to see which checkmate is good. The only good one is taking the rook because if you try to give a check anywhere else, you simply lose a queen. And at that point, you would probably throw your computer out of your window. So we take the rook, the bishop blocks, we take the bishop, the queen blocks, we take the queen. And that is the end of the puzzle. Okay, this one is also a checkmate in one. But this is a very common idea. If you see anybody playing f-pawn forward first followed by the g-pawn, you have this very common checkmating pattern of queen to h4, which is simply checkmate because the king has nowhere to go, nothing can block, nothing can take your queen. So if they push the f and the g-pawn in the beginning, two squares forward, you can simply just checkmate them and this is mate. Yay, more checkmating puzzles. We have a queen, we have a bishop, we have to look for checks, so the only check in this position we have is queen takes pawn, but since it's guarded by our bishop, that is simply checkmate. We also have to see that there's no knights or bishops that could maybe take our queen, which is also important. You might blunder that in the game, so be careful. But in, here it's simply just checkmating one. Bang. And we're on to more checkmates. This is also a very common pattern where you have a queen and a rook on the same file, but the king is close to getting back rank mated. You don't want to take this pawn. You don't want to do anything like that. You need to play forcing moves because remember, your opponent has also pieces around your king. So everything basically needs to be checked. So we take this pawn, the king has to move here, and then we sacrifice our queen. So you will see here, we sacrifice the queen, and after he takes, we take back, it is checkmate. And here again, queen, rook on the same file, we have to go checkmate. So what checks do we have? We have this check and this check. The check on f8 is simply dumb because it blunders the queen two different ways. But this is checkmate because the queen cuts off anything on this rank. And the king is in check. The king cannot come over. Simply just checkmate. Bang. Okay, this one is a bit tougher because we don't have a clear way to check the king with the queen. And we also have to see what our opponent wants, which is to checkmate us. Look at this. We're getting checkmated on the next move if we don't act fast. So here the only check we have is with this pawn. So check. Oh, okay, the, the puzzle stops there. Okay, boys, let's see what we have here. So the rook is not hanging. The queen is protecting it. So we cannot take the rook. We're down material here. So what can we do? Well, we can take this pawn with check, which I think is the clear obvious winner here. The puzzle just ends. <laughs> oh, this one is actually really amazing. Another checkmating puzzle. So here what we want to do is put the rook all the way up, right? So just check with the rook. He has to block with the bishop. And now we take the bishop, actually. Why? Well, because the king has to take. And now when our queen goes all the way down, since it's not a rook, it actually takes this square away as well. And it's just checkmate in one. Bang. There we go. Okay, this one, it's not a checkmate, but it's a pretty obvious puzzle here, which is just getting a fork, okay? Check the king, and you're taking the rook on the next move. Nothing that can be done about that. You always want to look for these forks when the king and the rook are close to each other, and they're on the same colored square, right? They have to be on the same color square, so you just check, you take, and now you have to move the knight out of the way, so this is the only move that we have, and that is it. Okay, do we have a checkmate in this position? Well, you might say no, because this is guarded by the rook. Uh, this is, you know, guarded by the king. But we just have to go the opposite way. Queen to a1, check. Where is the king gonna go? <laughs> Nowhere, it's checkmated. So, queen to a1, bang. Very, very easy. Okay, we had a puzzle like this earlier, right? Where we had to check the king first to get it to move so we can sacrifice the queen. And then, you know, we checkmate. 
The important thing to see here is that the bishop actually covers this square. Yes, the king has left, but it doesn't actually because the bishop would take there. So we go check, king moves, we sacrifice the queen, and this is simply checkmate. A lot of people blunder that in blitz games, so <laughs> you have some tactics that you can use. Again, is this the same puzzle that we got earlier? Yes, it is. We simply give this check. Now we have to be careful not to go here because that blunders the queen, and then we don't have a checkmate with the rook. We just simply go straight up, knight takes, and we take, and it's mate. Okay, this one is actually a very kind of complex checkmate puzzle for 16. So we have to see where our pieces are aiming at. So our queen is hanging, but we don't care about that right now. We have to see that the bishop and the rook stare at this pawn together, okay? And after rook takes, we have to take with the rook because it's check. The king only has one square to go to. And now we take the rook with the queen, giving check. But the queen blocks... And now we have to see that our rook and our queen team up together, and that would be checkmate. So, of course, rook check. Uh, the puzzle just ends there. I calculated that whole line for nothing. Thank you, chess.com. Okay, boys, this is a bit of a tougher pattern, but you will see it the more puzzles that you do. You have to see that the king cannot cross to this file because it's guarded by the queen and the rook. And we also have to see that uh, the king only has one escape square here, right? We have to take that square away from him by giving this check with the queen here, okay? Why? Because then, well, the king can obviously not go there. The queen x-rays that square and is guarded by the rook. So we go here. The king can only go here. And now we have a beautiful pattern where we can actually give this check with the rook. Why? Well, because the king is going to be checkmated otherwise, <laughs> right? So he has to take with the queen after which we just simply win a piece. Uh, so check. Queen takes, and now we just take the queen with check. Beautiful. Okay, boys, these endgame ones are my favorite to calculate out, so we cannot stop promotion here, okay? We can simply not stop it. If we go all the way down with the rook, he simply takes. This is coming, and this is coming, no matter what. But what we can do is try to force the queen out from a different way, okay? So we have to let him promote, but we're gonna take that queen later, and we're simply gonna win. The only move in this position is king to c7, why? Well, because after he promotes, it doesn't come with check, which is very important. And also, our rook can now check the king, and the king cannot come down. So we would win the queen through x-ray, right? So we're gonna play king to c7, promotes, we give a check, the king has to go here, and now we take the queen, and this is simply just winning for us. Bang! Okay, we're almost at 20 puzzles, boys. We didn't even break a sweat. So this pattern is actually one that you will maybe see even in your own games. And you always have to look at these checks at the edge of the board for the queen early on. So queen to h4 check here just wins us the game. Sometimes your opponent will push this g pawn and a queen to h4 will actually be checkmate. Sometimes you, have, you will have a knight here that can sacrifice for this pawn, winning your rook. But in this case, queen to h4 check, he blocks with the pawn. Now we have queen to e4 check, okay? Why? Because this check not only checks the king, but it also attacks the rook. So we're going to win a rook in this position very early on. So check, queen blocks, we don't care. We just take the rook, completely winning. Again, let's count the pieces. He has two minor pieces for the rook, which is about equal because I think we have more pawns here. We both have a queen, but our king is much safer. And we also have a tactic to win us a piece. Check. Right, so this is check, he has to block either with the queen or the pawn, or with the bishop, and then we will simply gobble up this knight, and then we're up a piece in the end game, and we will completely win, so check, he blocks with the knight here, but we don't have to take, we don't have to sacrifice, we simply just push a pawn, okay, we push a pawn, this knight has nowhere to go, he has to move the king, so this blocks with the bishop, we take, and that is the end of the puzzle. Okay, boys, checkmate. Can we find it? So it is very important here to see that the function of the queen is not only to give checks, but also to cut off the king from the seventh rank. Why? Because if we start checking with the queen, the king simply runs, and maybe it can cover itself with pawns and pieces, and we don't have a checkmate here. And also, our king is very vulnerable, so we have to, like, act fast. So this bishop check just makes a lot more sense because the king cannot come down and the only move is to block with the bishop after which we simply take and it's made in a few moves. Okay, so bishop, we take and the king runs over. This is checkmate. So we play this, bang, that's it. Okay, endgame time, boys. These are the ones you probably want to practice the most and we just have to see, is this winning for us? Well, I think it completely is after we trade this bishop. Why? Well, because after he takes, we just simply go in with the king. Okay, and we're going to gobble up these pawns and we're going to promote our pawns. Okay, so our king is way closer. So our king here is more dominant. So we have to take this bishop. After he takes, we have to go here, right? 
bang the king is opposite of us but we simply take the pawn take this pawn and we're just gonna completely win here as we see very very easy okay in this position are we winning yes we are there is a sequence to this one so you have to work out this sequence which is you don't give the check first you actually take the rook so you take the rook queen takes and then you go with the rook all the way down after the queen takes rook you take with the knight and then you simply have a piece and more pawns and you're just completely winning so we take queen takes now rook check queen takes and boom we're winning 24 puzzles boys we're more than halfway done nothing really hard so far right we're not even breaking a sweat okay boys this is a capture sequence one and we can actually win a piece here so we want to take this knight with the rook because we have to see that this is pinned okay we have to take after the pawn takes the queen is gonna take with check and now what moves does white have here he can block with the queen which we're gonna take with the rook he can also block here with the queen and then we're gonna take the rook on top because the queen can actually not protect it's pinned so this is just completely winning so we take the knight this is pinned okay so now we have to take the pawn very important we don't take the queen because he can he has more pieces defending that so we take the pawn the king moves and now we take the queen with the rook completely winning here queen and a piece versus two rooks obviously more material oh so here we have a beautiful checkmate this checkmate might be a bit hard to see but we have to see what squares what pieces cover so this knight covers these two squares okay this rook covers this entire file and the only thing that's not covered is the sixth rank so our rook giving this check actually wins as the game it's checkmate because where can the king go? It cannot go anywhere along the sixth rank. It cannot go anywhere on this file. It cannot go up or down because of the knight. So this is just simply mate because it's guarded by the king as well. So bang, check made in one. Okay, boys, let's look for checks with the queen first. We have this check and we have this check. Which one of these is better? Well, of course, this one is better. Multiple reasons. First of all, you take a pawn. Second of all, the rook cannot block the check. The queen has to block the check, which is equal material. Okay, so we want to take this check first. It is better, so we check. And now we have to see... We just have to take the victory here in the endgame, okay? So I think this, pinning the queen to the king, is probably the best move that we have. Uh, because look how many more pawns do we have. If everything trades down, we just have way more pawns that can promote. I think this is just completely winning. Bang. Yes, and we take with check. And that, okay, that is just a win. Ooh, okay, boys, this is a very middle gamey, very complex one. I think in this one, we have to see that we're hitting the bishop. We have to see that our bishop is hanging and we have to see this pin here with the bishop so i think the move here is queen takes knight pawn takes queen we take the queen they take our bishop so material is equal but at the end of all of that we can take the white bishop and we're just up a piece so i think this is the correct solution we're gonna take okay he takes so we take the queen and now we take the bishop pretty easy we're at 28 almost at 30 boys we're almost at the end of this okay what do we have here bishop knight staring into the king's soul okay any knight move is a discovered check so we have to see that we also have to see that our queen is hanging so simply going for uh the white's queen isn't gonna work what moves do we have well i'm obviously looking at something like knight to f3 because it's check the knight covers this square the bishop covers this square there's nothing that can block and it simply just looks like checkmate so i think knight f3 is correct it's mate yes it is okay there we go okay so this one we have to be a bit careful so we want to take the rook but there's just queen to d1 check mating us right we go back with the rook he takes its mate so we can't really take the rook what can we do well we have this check with the queen pawn blocks we will go back with check the king goes up and then we have some mates here so i believe it's this check right here right we have to see what checks we have we don't have any checks up here so this is the only check we have so check the puzzle just ends there i thought we were gonna have to play it out <laughs> okay so here we have a checkmate but it's very important with what piece we take first so our bishops are staring like this so they're lasering the king cannot come down because of this bishop and the queen and the bishop team up on this pawn now do we take with the bishop or do we take with the queen well here we actually take with the bishop why because our queen is actually guarding this top square so if we took with the queen the king would just go up and then we don't really have any checkmate here we have to take with the bishop because the king has no squares after that and it's mate there we go okay boys what do we have in this one well we have a bishop that's pitting our knight to the rook but we also have a very weak king so the f pawn is gone so we do have some checks here but we also have a queen and a bishop teaming up on this square how well we simply go to h4 because now we hit the bishop we're also threatening some checks after the king runs 
it's gonna get really, really nasty for uh, for white here. So I think just queen h4 wins. I don't see why it wouldn't win. So let's just go here. Okay, bishop goes here to block. Now we can probably take the bishop. Rook takes, we take the rook. And I think we're just juicing here. Okay, let's take. Take the rook. There we go. What do we have? We have a knight hanging. Okay, we also have a bishop and a queen very close to our king, which is not really good. We also have a very open file for a rook. And we also can take this pawn with check, which looks pretty good because then the queen and the rook can team up easily. So I think we just take the king moves. Okay, now we have two checks. We can check with the queen right here. We can check with the rook right there. I think we check with the rook because then we have this. A rook check. Okay, bishop blocks, but we take the bishop. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we have to see that we're in check here. Black has a passed pawn. But we have to see, do we just move the king? Of course we don't move the king because... We can move this rook back with check, okay? So not only is the rook hitting the queen, it's also check, so we're gonna pick it up. Pretty easy to spot. Bang. To be honest, I think it's probably check here, because then the rook has to block, and then we take the rook, and then we take the queen. I think it's check. Yes, we take the rook, and now we take the queen, and we're just up rook in the end game. I don't think we have to think about this move, which is just takes. Okay, very important question. Do we take here? I don't think so, because I think if we do take, uh, we just we just lose. So I think we just push, and we just push. We will be one tempo in front of white, so I think we just completely win there. We're at 35, boys. Let's see if we can get to 40 with no mistakes. Okay, we have a big attack here. Let's see what we can do. So we can give a check. Queen has to block. I think it's the only move. And now we take this pawn with check. Queen has to block. I think now we give this check, and then we can bring in the rook. I think this is what we have to do here. So let's go check. We have to go check. Oh, that's where the puzzle ends. Okay, beautiful. Ooh, okay, boys. This one is a little bit difficult to see right away because there are so many pieces on the board. There's a knight, there's a queen. What is happening here on this diagonal? Do we even know? We have to see that there is no checkmate here because our queen guards. And I think, I think this might be wrong. This might be the first one we get wrong. But I think the move is just rook to d7. Why? Because we attack the bishop. If this bishop moves, we take the other bishop. But we're also threatening to take here and then fork the king and the queen. I think it's just this. Pushes the pawn, and I think we just take the bishop here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he sacks, and I think we just take with the queen here. Uh, and that's it. Okay, beautiful. Aha, uh -huh. checkmating with the rook and the king. So when the kings are in opposition like this, you can always give this check because the king is forced back, okay? Then you move your king. If he queens, it's mate. Just learning this checkmate with the rook and the king is very important because there's a lot of times you just get left with a rook and a king. So we want to give this check first. After the king moves, we move the king here. If he goes up, of course, we have check taking the pawn. So just king over. Oh, it's wrong. Maybe we go up. I think we go up. I should have calculated that, but whatever. I, I Let me just see the position. Yeah, because he queens with check, so we have to go up. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was just trying to go fast because I've been filming this video for about an hour now. Okay, boys, what do we have in this one? We have a queen that's staring at this knight. We also have a pawn that's about to promote. We also have some problems where our king might get checkmated. But I don't think that's a struggle for us right now. I think the best move is to team up the queen and team up the rook like this. I don't see anything wrong with that. What can you do really? Uh, if the king goes over, of course we take. I think we can even sacrifice a rook. Rook takes because you have queen check. And that's basically made because the pawn covers this square. So I think the correct move it is rook f1. Let's see. I'm afraid I'm going too fast. Okay, of course we here take the queen and we're just completely winning. Okay, this pawn is about to promote. But we also have a lot of pawns on this side, so we can actually push here. If check, we just go under, and then we push. We try to break through and make our own, uh, we make our own queen. So I think we just push. I don't think we take here. I think we simply push, right? Because if we take, maybe there is a chance that this pawn gets stuck. So I think we push because if we push and he takes here, we simply take. And if we push and he takes here, we simply continue to push. So here. He takes, we take, and now we're just queening and there's no stopping it. Okay, boys, the last puzzle. Actually, boys, we're gonna do 41 because I think this one is a bit too easy. So the obvious move here is we we see that the king has nowhere to go, basically. And it is to sacrifice our rook. Why? Because why? Well, if we go rook to e8 check, the king moves, we take the queen, 
And if the queen takes a rook, we can simply give this check with the knight or king and then we win a piece and then we're just completely winning here. So it's rook to e8, queen takes, and now we take the bishop, we check, king moves, we take like this. Bing, bang. Okay, 40, let's do 41. And then I'll show you the one that we got wrong. So where, what do we see here? We have a bishop, we have a queen teaming up. Pretty easy to spot. We have a rook also closing the file. So it is queen takes uh, the pawn here. So here I think we played the spectacular move of rook to e8, deflecting the queen and then giving a checkmate uh, on the dark squares. So I think it's rook to e8, queen takes, and I think this is just checkmate. Nothing can stop it, right? Yes, there we go, 41. Now let's quit and let me show you the one we got wrong. Okay, boys, so this is the one we got wrong. You do have to give this check, as I said, but you don't go here because he promotes with check. That's what I didn't see. You have to go here, actually. Why? Because it doesn't allow the king to come down, so he cannot protect his passer. So we go here and it avoids the check. He promotes and now we give a check and then we simply collect the queen and we completely win in this endgame. Okay, boys, I've been recording for an hour, so if this didn't prove your puzzles, please like and subscribe. And then if you want a fun video, well, maybe watch me destroy Martin with only pawns. Have a good one, boys. See you in the next one.